I don't have my uh, screen recorder up on my tablet that I just soaked up with this game. So I'm just going to record it from the phone. But I managed to actually get my PvE team, PvP team, <laughs> into League of Honor. <laughs> Which is so rare because typically DK is an auto ban. So I actually started... <clears throat> I had a bunch of mechanic runes, so I ground a bunch of them up, and I got CC to A1. So I've been throwing her in matches, and I just always ban Leo. That way people think it's me. I kind of want them to think it's me. And my CC, even though she's a lower level 3-star A1, uh, they ban her over my DK. Why, I do not know. It's like they see that my DK is wiping them, and I'm playing against the same people, but they're still banning CC, and it's kind of strange to me. Um, it's like they don't realize I am who I am until they fight me again. So they're not getting the cue. So I just always ban Leo. And then I pick DK right out of the gate. And then they'll usually pick like Lorianne or Artemis or something. Okay, they did Lilia and Mirian. So this might be a different person. Although the person I just picked banned Bao. So, and then I put the commons. So Fallen Frey and Juno and DK are the commons. Pansy, CC, Nikki, and Laudia are the not so common players. So I'm going to put them in there and let's see if they ban CC again. This is probably not the same guy. I'm going to ban uh, Scarlet because I don't want her nuke to hit me. So we'll get rid of her. Oh, they got rid of DK. Okay, that's more, that's more typical. Um, but DK is nothing but a nuke. He's not bringing Radiance or Helm or Bond or any of the important components of my team other than damage. Um, you might think, oh, the mana drain, the mana drain, nah. Juno's got mana drain. Um, DK's not perked for the mana drain S1 dark. He's perked for the nuke S1 light. So, um, you know, he's the primary nuke, sure, but Pansy's a nuke as well. CC's an, a nuke, but she is definitely a stunner. Um, and, you know, Juno and Frey are healer, shield, buff, you know, so let's see what happens. And the nice thing is, is that this team is still somewhat resistant to uh, Miri and all of that goodness with Pansy being on a morph because she's the one that drags that morph since I've got some death lines on CC. So I can actually win against Mary teams um, when I run it with uh, morph there on Pan. So I'm using pretty much the exact same gears I use in Honor. The only difference is I put uh, Radiance onto CC instead of it running on Juno. And I put Juno on the bond because Frey has a higher ban rate. And the bond is the most important thing for me to get into the match. So um, I put Frey on the Soul Spring. I had Cece on the Soul Spring, Frey on the bond, and Juno on the Radiance. But I do switch that one thing up when doing League of Honor. Um, so I haven't done League of Honor this week. This is my first time um, because it's just kind of something I've not prioritized. And I didn't want to really do my big push on Honor until um <clears throat> until towards the end of the season so see see they picked Frey a lot of people picked Frey so I would have lost my bond had I not put it on to Juno so uh that's that's why I switch it around because so many people do pick Frey so that's something to be aware of is if there's a uh, key winning elements on specific players that are picked often uh, in the form of artifacts, you probably want to put those on the lower ban rate players um, just to avoid going into the matches without your win condition. So that's my advice on League of Honor. I'm going to just finish with this battle here. Um, as far as who I'm going to ban, I'm going to ban Doss because I don't want the mana drain or the cleanse. So um, the other one I would have potentially banned is Kib. Oh, wow, they didn't ban my DK. That's wild. Um, but... Honestly, I have more problems running off against DOS, especially since she's buffing everybody's PDEF um, and P damage uh, reduction and everything like that. Um, so she's just kind of 
for me being a physical team, the one to get rid of. Um, so keep that in mind as well, is that sometimes it's better to get rid of the thing that's going to nerf your team the most, uh, not the thing that's going to do the most damage to it. So hopefully I just one shot him. I got a few. Yeah, his kid is strong. Whew, that kid is strong. My word, come on. And that's where that A1 CC is nice. She's giving herself 40% attack. So. I'm not even sure if Nikki went into her enraged state. But these honor battles, they last a heck of a lot longer than your typical League of Valor battles. Especially for me since, you know, I play the nuke style. Um... So keep that in mind as well. You are going to be grinding out longer battles in these things. Um, so you're going to definitely want to bring up your heal rate. If you're not specced for that, you're going to want to bring up your hit points. You're going to want to basically bring up your endurance uh, stats uh, for survivability because you can't dependently you can't depend, excuse me, on going into these matches and uh, being able to just wipe instantly with a nuke team. Um, if I manage to get my DK in, which I did in that round, sometimes I can just do an insta-wipe like you saw in the video before, but most of the time, there's no getting DK into these things. That was odd that they that they banned Pansy over DK. Um, but I'm also playing at the lower levels of, of uh, Honor right now. Once I start playing in the 4 and 5 range, not so much. <laughs> DK is not getting in. Um, I did videos on that a couple of weeks ago, and you saw it was an auto ban. So I literally was putting DK in there just to guarantee the ban, and I was making my team uh, centered around everybody but DK, quite frankly. So um, that's another thing to keep in mind as well, especially once you get into the higher levels, is who do you want to automatically get banned? Sometimes it's just good to troll and put somebody in there, even if they're lower level, um, and trust that due to the fact that they have a high ban rate, they're going to go just because they don't want to risk it. So throwing in a Lorianne, for instance, uh, or throwing in your own DK, even if it's low level, doesn't matter. Um, they're going to have a higher ban rate. So statistically, it's more likely that that's who they're going to get rid of. And if they're not a win condition for your team, it doesn't matter, right? DK is not my only win condition. So at the end of the day... Uh, that's another thing to be very much aware of is who's going to end up getting banned. And a lot of people don't think that. They're like, oh, well, if I just throw all these different people in there, um, maybe they'll just pick one of the randoms and they won't pick my DPS. No, the higher levels especially, they know who's wrecking in this, in this uh, PvP content. So um, they want to defend their title and you've got to uh, sometimes adjust what it is that you're going to end up doing and not rely on your primary win condition so that's my video for league of honor this week um i may do videos if i see i'm gonna finally bust into uh royal masters but i'm not going for royal masters as i've said in other videos i just want that glaring honor costume that's the goal so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll talk to y'all later